Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Steven Strada from um, Steven Strada Design, and today I'm going to show you how to give text like a like a paint spotter effect. You know, um, what I'm going to start out with is this a thousand on uh, height, width, and resolution. I know I really use resolution on the biggest, whether it's the biggest height or width. I don't know. That's the way I that's the way I like to do it. Um, I'm just going to show you like a really neutral color kind of design. Uh, first you want to lay down your text and I'd recommend giving it a like a like an outline of whatever I mean make it however big or small you want it to be but um then you're going to want to make a new layer over that and what you're going to, want to do is you're going to need a lot of you're going to need a lot of paint splat brushes and uh, maybe even some spray paint brushes if you want and all these you can get offline for free if you just search and download them Like you know search on Google and uh, you're also going to need the Some of the default brushes and I'm going to use uh, Like a 65 or something like that to start with and what I'm going to do is you're gonna You're pretty much going to want to fill in the entire text And I'll show you that in a minute Go ahead and outline it. Then you're going to fill this in, and this is just going to give the entire, like all of um, behind the text, like a, like a foundation, pretty much. Fill that in. That's your, that's your foundation. Throw this back up. You want to put that over it. Um, create a new layer and then you're going to start throwing up brushes like spray paint brushes and um, all these different kind of things. You're always going to want to resize it depending on how big the picture is. You see this is too big. Bring it down to this a little bit. Well, the best way to resize it is doing this. And because this is on a new layer, you can actually rescale it. So, it's not really in there. Alright, so that's going to be... It's gonna look like that. I'm gonna scale this. Scale this down to a little bit better size. And pretty much just scale it in any any direction. If I can pull it over here, that's gonna go off of quality. If I hit shift, oh, let me go back. If I hit shift and scale it, it's gonna go um, back to the normal, back to the normal like height and width that the, it should be, which is gonna give you the best quality for it. Do something like that. You can even um, resize doing like this kind of thing, which is good too. A little bit faster, a little bit easier. Throw some spray paint on there, kind of, you know, giving it the urban modern effect. All these brushes that I, I'm using right now, I've gotten for free on the internet. And um, you pretty much want to have it all to scale. You don't want to have any, you know, ridiculously too big for the. Uh, and just pretty much scan it, make sure Make sure everything you really use is just, you know, is going to be to scale with whatever you use. And then you pretty much, I mean, this isn't as detailed as it, you know, should be, but you pretty much have this going on, which, uh, you know, it just kind of gives it the more modern effect and everything, and which, I mean, I really like a lot. This outline that I did for the, um, right here, this back outline, it pretty much gives it the effect, but I'd recommend going a little bit um, a little bit smaller and a little bit more into depth with the uh, t 
text. Something like this. If you can see, I kind of went a little bit too big, but this because I'm kind of doing a quick little video. If you'd really, if you want it to be detailed, you kind of want to um, kind of go pretty close in with it in the text. And uh, yeah, that's the design. Thank you for watching.